what, what happened to your father? Uh, his leg break, broken and his uh, hand and uh, all, all face. Uh, no off. face. No face. His, uh, his lips and nose, uh, everything. Uh, his eyes. It was very difficult reporting from inside Iraq uh, because not only was um, the United States government not telling the truth, but Saddam wasn't telling the truth either. And it was a, just a bizarre conspiracy with both of these sides trying to create the same false impression that, that the civilians weren't being hurt, that people weren't being killed. And at the end of a week, we had pictures of what's known as collateral damage suburban neighborhoods flattened, grandmothers and grandfathers dead, um, the type of things that nobody had seen and that nobody knew was going on. And we, we wanted to bring this back and show this to the American people because they did not know this. Most probably he was trying to hit this bridge. Well, you think he was trying to hit the bridge over here? Yeah. But if they were trying to hit the bridge, uh, they missed. They missed it the second time. Oh yeah? <laughs> and what happened in this house here? What happened? One rocket. A rocket. One rocket, this? yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Is this where the people died? Yes, uh, 14 people. 14 Babies people and women and men. Uh -huh. It's from, it's what, shrapnel? From the shells? Yes. From yes. The shells. Doctor, are these the bodies of that family? The two women that are lying there? This is what's left of her family, that's it? They're yes, dead. yes. Uh -huh. I brought the tapes back to NBC, and um, the big wigs at NBC, um, Tom Brokaw, um, the head of the Evening News and the head of the Today Show, these three people watched the tapes and decided that this was a really important story and it was going to be the lead story the next evening on NBC News. And we went home to edit it. And three hours before the tapes were to be broadcast, I got a phone call from the president of NBC News, Michael Gartner. And he said, John, we're not going to show your tapes. And in fact, we are never going to show any tapes that you make again. You're fired, and we will not broadcast these tapes. And I said, well... All the networks have their offices in the same little area of Manhattan. Um, let's call up CBS. And I went over to the phone booth and I called up CBS and I wound up speaking to their executive producer. He said, come on, show me the tape. So I showed him the tape and he was astonished because nobody had seen anything like this before. He said, well, we'll broadcast the tape. We'll put it on tomorrow night. And uh, let me tell you something. Every time those bozos at NBC see you on CBS and you kick them in the teeth again, they'll be sorry they didn't broadcast the tape because this is the right thing to do. I'll broadcast it. And unfortunately, two o'clock that morning, he got a phone call and he was fired. And it doesn't take long for that type of word to filter out amongst the networks. And there was no way this tape was going to be shown in the United States and it never was.